can hear Jack this time. All right, there we go. Hey! <laughs> so you couldn't hear me. I could not hear you, yes. Uh, so the whole I was on there for like five minutes before you even joined. I was, I was just going, I could, no, I could hear you before I joined. Oh, you could. As soon oh, as right. I joined for some reason, it went on mute. It's oh, all right now, I think we're good. That's strange. Well, I'm glad to see you. Yes, good to see you too. You, you've you actually shaved a little bit too, huh? Yeah, I did really recently. It's just, it's so much more preferable. You know, I, I feel like I should just keep it like this. Well, they do say that the, the, the virus can live, and this is true. They, they say they recommend that you are more clean shaven. It has a less you know, tendency to like hide in the fibers of your oh, hair. Oh, I actually didn't know that. That's no, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Okay. Nice. Then again, I don't know what's true anymore. Do you know, do you know what's true? I, I don't know what's true anymore, to be honest with you. I'm just I'm I don't losing know. my mind. If you say something like that that's that easy, I'm probably going <laughs> to believe totally. it. You know, why not? Yeah. How are you dealing with all this? Um, it's all right here. I mean, it's we're in New York City, so it's like the worst place, you know, in, in, in the country for, for this. Uh, so it's a little hard because we have to go out. Well, the only reason we go out is to walk our dogs. So, so when we go out, it's a little bit of like a video game. We have to like yeah. dodge people. And Dude, that's like, exactly what I was like. I was at the grocery store last week, and it was it was really like I was feeling avoid the old people. I was like trying. I was trying to avoid everybody. I don't want to. I don't want to be a nuisance to anybody. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, you're like you're like Pac Man, like trying to weave around I people. I know. It's, like, it's, it's a game. It's crazy. It's a, it's causing a lot of anxiety. Um, you know, the last time I saw you guys, it, it was so so much different. Uh, you know, you were on, you were performing on top of uh, one of our uh, places down here in Cleveland. Uh, right. We did a, a, a great intimate performance uh, with you guys. It was a beautiful, sunshiny summer day, and yes. er everybody was like, you know, drinking and eating, and it was, remember, it was fantastic. Yeah. What, what has this done? I, I would imagine this has wreaked havoc on your entire, well, everybody's schedule. But like, what about your uh, the, the the tour schedule that you guys had going on? Have they told yeah. you anything? Yeah, well, we had a uh, tour, the Neo Theater Part 2 tour scheduled for May and June, and that's uh, now gotten postponed till the fall. Yeah. And, uh, so basically, it's where we had two tours up. We had that tour, and then we had our um, uh, Everything Everywhere tour uh, with Quinn 92 and Hobo Johnson and Ash. And that is now still on. It's that That's July into August. So as of now, that's still on. Awesome. Uh, and, and, you know, crossing our fingers, it stays that way. But uh, yeah, you know, I guess it's just a matter of like stalling time for a couple months now, and then we can just get back into it once this is all over i know watching the news can be like doom and gloom doom and gloom everybody's coming out but I, I gotta be honest with you, i'm really impressed with how the majority of people are acting during all this um, not just the masks but just the way that we're, we're relating to people and how how uh, malleable we are we've changed so drastically in the last two months and i'm I, I, applause actually you know yeah it's, yeah, I think so. Yeah, when, when something happens like this, and this is, it's, I wouldn't say unprecedented, but I mean, just about as close as you can get. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, it makes everyone's in it together, and they're all experiencing it the same way. So, you know, you, at that point, it's hard to not relate to one each other and just be in it yeah. together. Mackenzie wants to know, have you written a song about COVID-19? or? Uh, um, no, not specifically yet. We have some ideas uh, of yeah. how to do it. Everyone's putting out those songs. Uh, like I'm seeing like Six six Feet Apart and uh, Isolation. And oh yeah, and 21 Pilots put out that song too. Um, yeah. So uh, we're, we're trying to figure out like a, like a cool angle to come from before we actually sit down and write it. I know you're, you're limited for time. We do have some questions. We asked uh, some of your adoring fans uh, to, uh, to ask some questions. So yes. we'll, just, we'll just rifle right through these. Uh, the first one is from, because obviously you can't perform because the other guys are in their own homes, right? So, yeah, um, but it's, all, it's all good. Uh, yeah. uh, Alicia, L-E-I-O-U, a question I'm sure you've been asked numerous times. Uh, the favorite song you've written so far? Uh, in our in our whole uh, discography, um, I, I probably Karma, our song, which is on our uh, our most recent album, Neo Theater. That's probably the most personal song to me. And, and and even though it's kind of a sad concept, it was just really fun to write. It's just one of those times where it came really easy. It just kind of flowed out. And, and when you do that, it's like, oh God, we you know we we have that confidence for like a day. So that, that was yeah, a good yeah right. It's amazing. Just the, I mean, I, I say this to a lot of guys, but like the, the, the amount of growth that's happened from that first single, the one that I was first yeah, on my yeah. radar was, was I'm ready to yeah, like yeah, now. It's just the hooks are still there, but this, the whole, the growth is definitely, uh, oh, cool. definitely yeah. changed. Um, yeah, thank you. AJR's Neo Theater wants to know, uh, who decorated uh, your apartment with the moss squares and the plants? <laughs> Everyone always comments on this. This is, this is my interview spot. Uh, that, that was Ryan. Uh, Ryan, Ryan. Ryan loves like nature and plants and his whole room is filled with them. So he thought he'd kind of bring it out into the living room and put these little moss squares on the wall. Everyone's so enamored with them. If you saw them in real life, you'd be like, "Oh, they're they're really nothing special." They look better on on the uh, on the uh, Instagram, I guess. I don't know. They're, yeah, I is that, they do. Yeah. Are, is it real? It's it's real plants. It, it is real, and it kind of just like feeds off of the. I, I actually have no clue how they keep growing. 
That's kind of neat. Must be air filtering, something like that. You're going to start a trend now. Everybody's going to put uh, plants on Mars the walls. I know. That's what we do. Uh, let's see here. This is terrible AJR fan art. This mm. is the name. Uh, can you ask Jack what his favorite animal is? I'm curious. I probably would give every penny in my bank account to hang out with a monkey for a day. That's yeah, like that'd be fun. That would be fun. Thing ever. I think that's like my. It, 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 I would give up all my birthday gifts for the rest of my life if someone would get me like time to spend with a monkey. They're like my favorite things in the world. Isn't that a thing on Zoom right now? Some people are actually renting animals to do zooms with or something. <laughs> why, I don't even. Why would they do that? Why I don't know. Them? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It sounds yeah. odd. I don't. Really, I don't really fully understand. I guess it's for a good cause. They're doing it for charity, but they're having. Oh, to, I see. Okay. They're renting animals to be a part of their Zoom room. I, I don't know. I'm not just, really sure. They just to sit in there in a square? I, I don't know. I'm not really sure. It's all new. Everybody wants to try something new now. Wow, yeah. We've never, we never dealt with a pandemic before. Right. Uh, Shia Sings. Uh, apparently, Shia Sings. Uh, she's an aspiring artist, and she does a lot of these online covers and stuff. What song do you think she should cover next? Oof. So many good ones. Current songs. I really like Benny, that, that, that artist. Um, Super Lonely. Super yeah, Lonely. Yeah, great that, song. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's, that song is a great, that's a great song. A really yeah, song. absolutely. Yeah. You should have you should have picked something ridiculous, and that way she would have done it, and then <laughs> and then she would have had to do it. Yeah, <laughs> she would have had to do it. Now, Jack said so. Uh, Angelica Aesthetic uh, just wants to say, "Hey, I really love your style." That's what she mm. says. Thank you. Um, do you have a style? How would you describe the Jack style? Oh, she means my it's like my physical style. Like... Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, that's I mean, what I she maybe that's no, I, 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 I don't know. I mean, that's how I took it. Oh, that's... yeah, I thought she was talking about the musical style. I, no one's ever said that they love my, you know, like, <laughs> like, like this. <laughs> This going, everyone's kind of been You're, negative about it. No, how would I fashion? describe it? Very, yeah. uh, very big Lebowski esque. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's sort of my role model. When, when it comes love to it. Hey, our friend, our friend Crystal. Crystal, if you're watching, we miss you. Crystal wants to know um, if you had only one pair of shoes to wear for the rest of your life, what would the shoes be? <laughs> Definitely the LL Bean slippers. Oh my God, so comfortable. I was going to say comfort. Comfort yeah, over quality, comfort. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. It's all about comfort when it comes Absolutely. to that. Absolutely. Uh, Caitlin, only a couple more. Caitlin uh, says, "When did you realize that you and your brothers had such amazing talent? Was it like a eureka moment, or was it like mostly over time?" No, it was. It's like the most over time uh, modern story I've heard in a really long time. We've been doing this for 15 years, so you know, the first four of them were street performing, or five were just street performing, trying to make money. Then the next, like, whatever, six or seven were. Um, trying to get good at writing songs so really it was just day by day this the really terrible songs to okay songs and then it finally <laughs> got to the point where they could be on the radio and people would like them but it's yeah. a very long time it does it's not there wasn't but but how how young were you when you you know you realized okay this this is actually is this is this feels I real guess, i guess it was i'm ready was the first one so i was wow okay 15 maybe God, you guys were 15 that's right you guys were really young i was young yeah yeah that was super, super catchy. And I guess this sort of, this might segue to the next question. Another Alicia question. She says, if Jack could live in any cartoon world, which one would he choose? Oof. Um, any cartoon world. That's actually a great question. Because they're so, it is. It they're is. so comforting. Uh, I, I would, I guess SpongeBob, it would have to be it. Yeah. That's just, he has the easiest life ever. You know, you can ask for it. <laughs> ready for the movie. I'm ready for the movie next month. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, my kid is, my kid is. Right, of course. Uh, uh, one last question. AJR is Neo Theater. Uh, would Jack ever consider using Shay's bark in a song? It's a great idea. We've actually considered it. That, that's the name of our dog. Um, she doesn't bark very often. It, it, only, only when someone comes in the house, she's going to yeah. like sort of like guard dog. Mode. So we'll have to like rush with the microphone and, and, and record it really quick. But it's a good idea. I, I think actually that might end up on the album. Yeah, I mean, you heard about like Blue Ivy being you. I think Jay-Z and Beyonce oh, used right. yeah, Blue I Ivy's that. voice. I think Stevie Wonder back in the day used the, his kid's voice and Isn't She Lovely. So, hey, maybe you could, you could do the new thing with, with pets, you know, who knows? My kid, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, exactly, right. Um, Dude, uh, thank you for doing this. It's great to see you. I'm, I'm really glad we were able to figure this out. We want to see you, obviously, in person at some point, but yes. ba baby steps, right? Baby steps. Yes, um, of course. Uh, give, give, my, give my regards to the other guys. We hope to see them as well. But uh, I will. Uh, tell us about the song. Bang is blowing up. I, I, when I first heard this song, I think you guys dropped it. Um, was it in January? Is that when it came out I, I around think that then? that sounds right, yes. When I first, I was like, this is the one that's going to break him at pop because this is the one, I mean, obviously so many hooks in your songs over, over the years, but um, this one I think is going to be the one that, that, uh, that, that pops big time. So, oh, thanks uh, so much. 
absolutely. Is there going to be an album coming out eventually or? Yes, eventually. Yeah, yeah, we're writing now. So uh, I, I guarantee in, even in the next couple of months, there's going to be new music out in some form. Fantastic. That's one of, one of the good things about this is that people are becoming more and more creative. So, um, I mean, there's nothing else better to do, right? So you might right. as well. Yeah, exactly right. Jack, good to see you, my man. Give our regards to everybody else and be safe out there. Okay, man. You too, man. Thank you. Wait, hang on. Before you leave, one screenshot. I got to take a screenshot. Oh, now. yes. Perfect. Got it. Jack, be safe, man. Thanks, man. You too. Bye. You're awesome. Jack from AJR. Whoa, hang on. I don't want to end it now. I don't want to end it now. I do want to say goodbye to Jack, though. He's great. Those guys are awesome. Those guys are fantastic. Like I said, we got a chance to hang out with those guys um, back in the summer. Uh, last summer, they did a, a really intimate show with us. Um, um, last summer and it was really a lot of fun really really nice guys so uh, thank you for, uh, for being a part of the fun today Kiss FM social kiss uh, what else we got coming up on the schedule we got some, we got some other things happening on this uh, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday Tuesdays and Thursdays at 2pm uh, we do these things called social kiss and coming up on Thursday we're going to be talking with J.P. Sachs uh, if you're on TikTok, you know J.P. Sachs. J.P. Sachs has a song out with Julia Michaels, who he is sheltering in place with, by the way. Uh, that's true. Uh, they have a song out called If the World Was Ending. Now, this song came out last fall. It takes on a whole new meaning now in the wake of COVID-19, right? So we're going to talk with J.P. Sachs right here on Instagram. Same time Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Thursday, Thursday afternoon at 2 p.m. We're going to be talking with J.P. I've never talked to the guy before, so this will be uh, kind of fun. And then next week uh, on Cinco de Mayo on uh, Tuesday, May 5th, we're going to be talking with Natalia Domini. She has a great song out with Petey Pablo called Pacemaker. And if you're familiar with the group Jack and Jack, you know, Jack Galinsky, one of the Jacks in Jack and Jack, he has a, a solo track out. Um, what is it called again? It's really, it's My Love is the name of the song. It's kind of a rhythmic sort of a hip hop flavor to it. And we're going to be talking with Jack Galinsky from Jack and Jack right here on Instagram. Uh, that's coming up Thursday, May 7th. So uh, check for updates. Hit that follow button, 96.5 KISS FM in beautiful, you can't really see it, Cleveland, Ohio. Thanks for being a part of the fun today. Big thanks to Jack from AGR. We're going to play Bang on KISS coming up today around 5.50. Thanks for listening, you guys. Be safe, stay healthy, and we'll talk to you soon.